Hey, it's Kevin from Fat Daddy's Hot Rods. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about these butt weld clamps. I've had a lot of people ask me where to get them, how to use them, what the part number is. So I'll start out by telling you I get these from Harbor Freight. Their part number is 60545. You can get eight of these clamps for $7. I have found them at other places and they want $20 for four of the exact same clamp. So that's where I get them. That's how much they are. Let's go on to showing you how these things work. All right, now I don't really have anything that I need to use these clamps on right now. So I just went ahead and grabbed two scrap pieces of metal to show you guys how these things work. Uh, first off, these are two piece clamps. You do have to be able to get to both sides of your metal to use them. These clamps also hold your gap right because you do want gap between your metal when you are butt welding so they're pretty easy you just stick them right through take the pin from the other side and tighten it down and it'll bring it right up to where you want it i'll stick another one in here to show you how this works i'll stick it in upside down so you can see how the pin is the pin goes right through here you tighten it down and it brings everything where it needs to go. I typically like to have the clamps spaced out a little more than this. It depends on what application I'm using, but just for demonstration purposes, I got them closer. Uh, I'll, what I need to do now is go between my clamps and spot weld close to the clamp so it holds everything where I need it. Okay, now that everything's been tacked up around there, what we do is we just pull our clamps out, loosen them up, reach back, pull that pin, pull the clamp out. Sometimes they can be a little bit of a bear to get out. And then after you pull all your clamps, you can just weld up your seams. Well, there you have it. They are fairly simple to use, inexpensive to buy, and they really make that job a lot easier. If you have any questions, or suggestions for something you might like to see let us know in the comments below make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time